with me is uh, Jimmy Bartell, um, former Geelong legend. Former. Does that feel weird, former? Because you're still a young man. I don't know about a young man. Uh, I think uh, the beard might cover up the age really well and also of a morning time, I don't feel like a, a young man. I, so like a lot of ex-footballers, you, you limp out of bed, but no, I still feel good. I still feel like if I, I trained up, I could play some footy at, at some level, but no, I'm happily retired. Jimmy, when you start to get a beard like mine, it starts to get grey patches everywhere. And I say start, it's been like that for years. Why do you think I wear a hat? <laughs> My hair's completely grey. Um, you're here for the Monbulk uh, Sportsman tonight, along with uh, Buff Lehman, Darren yep. Lehman, and also a great friend of mine, Bruce Eva, fantastic bloke. Uh, you've obviously all worked together. Does it help to have an understanding of having come through the ranks? I mean, you played in Geelong, you played yep. local footy. Local footy is the bread and butter of the community, isn't it? I absolutely love local footy, and any chance I can get, I, I get back to my local footy club. I'm, for people unaware, I'm down Geelong way. I was football Geelong, the GFL, Bell Park was my local footy club, and. Any chance I can get back there and help out, I'll do it at a heartbeat um, because I know how important um, local footy is, not only to the community, but I'm also super appreciative of all those volunteers and you know mums and dads who give up their spare time. I mean, look, you, they work long, long hours. It's dark, it's cold in the middle of winter, but for them to give up an hour or two, you know, during a week and on the weekend, just to you know help you do something you absolutely love, I, I think that is the beauty of local footy. So if you're paid back mum and dad in spades for driving you around? Definitely mum as much as I can. I, I remember long hours in car rides and things like that. So when you play Geelong football and cricket, if you get into any rep sides, you've got to go to Bendigo and Ballarat, Albury, Wodonga, all those sort of the country circuit, Warnable. And it was some of the best time I've ever had actually. And it's great bonding you have with your parents. You know, you spend the long hours in the car, talk about the game on the way up and then you probably fall asleep on the way back so you're always appreciative of what your parents do for you. I've asked this question a few times uh, and you are still reasonably young but you are a retired footballer and with a great career now in the media. Um, are you? Did you live the moment Jimmy when you played uh, or did it all just flash by? A bit of both, it's a good question. I, it all flashed by, it goes quicker than you ever think and one of the first messages you get from um, senior players is oh, you know, take it all in, it goes really quick and you go, oh, what are you talking about? But it does go quick, but I was always a player who lived in the moment and I think that was drummed into me from a young age, both from my mum saying that, you know, if you only need to go out to training one night and it could be all over, but also I had a lot of senior players and, and coaches growing up to always tell me, you know, don't count your games, make your games count and you'll get the most out of it. So I sort of lived my football life like that. Two more questions, because I know you've got to race off uh, because you had to come over from uh, Marvel Stadium, I I'm told. Um, how do you see footy in general now? Because I know, I, I've got to be honest, I lost a little bit of interest in it until I got involved in local footy. And whether it's because they're not uh, fit enough to chase the ball around like little ants like they do in the AFL or whatever, but there's still targets. There's big forwards moving forward and backmen. Do you see it the same, Jimmy, or not? No, I still love the game and I still appreciate the game for what it is. And I guess I've always been one of those people who don't go there looking to, you know, to criticise. Yeah. And I know we can fall into that trap because we hear it in other media, we read about it. I think that's a bit easy that... The game is a great game and if you just go along and you appreciate it for what it is and you understand, you you know there's always been good games and bad games of footy and this sort of whole this era is better and that era is better, that's made up. There's always been bad games of footy throughout around, but there's also been some great games and you know you look for individuals within games, you look at different moments of games and you, you'll find the, the beauty or the fun of it wherever you wherever you can. I was going to ask you one more question but you pretty much answered that by, uh, by, by with that answer I was going to ask you is there anything you'd change in your career but I'm pretty sure having met you now and talked to you there's probably nothing. I'd probably like to win a few more premierships to be honest I'm naturally a competitor and I'm selfish and greedy and I want to win as many premierships as possible and um, you always think geez could we have won one more? I tell you what, Monbulk are looking for another on baller, so there's every chance that Monbulk are doing well, seven and zip, there's every chance they might give you a call. No, I'm not jumping on board. I'm done. I'm retired. <laughs> Good on you, Jim. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. All right, Jimmy Bartell here, and get your game face on. <laughs>